Um, she represents stamina and focus, um, keeping your eyes on the prize. No distractions can come between you and your, your target right now. So you are seeing this target, and you're probably trying to figure out exactly how you're going to get to this goal, whatever it is that you're trying to to, to um, reach, which is what this, this first card is representing, the Ace of Realization. Um, you you see the goal, but you're just kind of like, you know, I'm not sure quite how I'm going to get there, but, you know, I'm focused, I'm ready to get at it, but it's not you're not getting what you need to move forward to that goal. Okay. Um, so that's the energy of where you are right now. So what is holding you back? Something that's holding you back is you have the, the card of water. Water represents your emotions. Um, and it's the card of denial. So there's something dealing with this situation or dealing with your goals that you're in denial about. And mm-hmm. that's what's really holding you back. That's why you haven't got the answer to how to get to your goal. You're in denial about something. Maybe something's not working for you, and you don't want to see that it's not working for you. Or, you know, somebody's in your life, and maybe you don't, you're not ready to see for this person holding you back. But the denial is holding you back. That's why you can't get to the goal that you're trying to achieve towards. So um, you need to go ahead and release the denial. If The card is a woman... She's in a boat surrounded by snakes, and she's not moving oh, wow. in a trance. And she doesn't realize all these snakes are around her because she's, she's only seeing what she wants to see. And when you're in a state of denial, you don't see the things that you need to see. You see what you want to see. So whatever it is, you know, you know, you know sit back and ask yourself or figure out what it is that you're in denial about, but it's holding you back from this target that you're trying to get to. So that's something that you need to go ahead and release. It's probably still dealing dealing with negative attitudes or stagnant attitudes or beliefs. It's some things that you just need to go ahead and, you know, say, okay, this is what it is. I'm going to let it go, and I'm going to move forward. So your next card is also a card of something that you need to release. It's a card of fire. Um, fire represents spirituality, and it's the card of self-destruction. This mm-hmm. card comes up when, when you're constantly having negative thoughts about yourself or you're constantly criticizing yourself. Um, this type of attitude is going to burn you out and it's going to cause you to be exhausted. It's um, also what's keeping you from your goals. And the biggest question with this card is, are you allowing others to fish assist you in your self-annihilation. You must redirect your will from its destructive inward attack. And also, what danger signs have you been ignoring? That goes back to this denial card. There's some there's some signs or there's something going on that, that needs to be taken care of that you're not paying attention to, and it's aiding self-destruction. So... Go ahead and reevaluate yourself. You need to reevaluate what you're thinking about yourself, what you're thinking about others and people around you. Who are you surrounded by? What are they saying? Those type of things, whatever it is, because it's assisting you in that self-destruction energy, and that's not going to get you to the goal. You have the energy. You have the stamina. You have the drive. But when you have all these other things going on around you, you'll never get to your goal. Mm. So. You know, wow. let 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 the power of transition of change, you know, overtake you, and you know, it's, it's time for you to break some of these old cycles, these old beliefs, so that you can move forward to your goals. And the thing about goals is, if you was in a place to have your goal, you would have it already. So there's some changing that you have to do within yourself to get to your goal. Always remember when you're trying to strive to a goal you have to do some shifting to get to the goal. Otherwise, you would have had it already. Right. Right. That makes but a lot of sense. Within all of this, your outcome is love. You have another emotional card of love. Um, and this talks about the oneness. Um, and the oneness is the oneness with yourself, the oneness with things around you, the oneness with mind, body, and spirit, and also you have let go of the ego and surrendered to the ocean of love that is around you. So there is support waiting for you around you, but 
you got to release some of the same things I was just talking about so that you can be open to that flood of love, which is going to um, be the outcome of your goal. Um, mm. And it says just go ahead, open your heart fully, and accept that love that you deserve. So to tell you the truth, because this love is coming up, um, this goal is probably dealing something with a relationship. It doesn't have to be intimate. It can be a relationship with, you know, somebody in your family, your friend, or something that right. may have been, you know, altered and it's not where it should be or where you would like it to be. But that's that's where this, this is leading to. So I don't know if you're in a relationship that you're in denial about and it's causing self-destruction and you releasing that will give you the love, but there there is something going on with the relationship dealing with this reading. So wow. um, I hope I hope I was able to assist you. Uh, <laughs> yes, you that was really um, beneficial. Yes, because um, some of the things that you were speaking about, I kind of could pinpoint exactly where they were coming from. <laughs> okay. So when you said that there's just there's stuff that we already know, Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it yep, just was more, it was just clarity. It just right. made it more real. Right, right. Yeah. Always. I'm never going to tell you something you don't know. So right. thank you for thank calling. You. Thank you so much. Wow. I loved it. <laughs> All right, peace. Peace. Okay, okay. So we're about to take another caller. Um, caller from the 850, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, I'm Satya and I'm calling from Florida. Greetings, thanks for calling. Greetings. So um, have you been listening to the show since the beginning? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Is this your first time getting a reading or have you had one before? My very first one. Okay, well, I'm glad that you are um, coming to me for your first reading. Um, that's exciting. So. <laughs> so like I explained earlier, you know, you can ask me a question or you can just be open and let the ancestors, you know, give you the information that you need um, mm-hmm. to know. So which would you like to do? Um, I would like to do the cards like the last caller. You, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? The cards, I would like the card reading, if if that's possible. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm going to do the card reading, but do you have an ex- a question that you want answered, or do you yes. want me to just... Okay, so, so what I is do. your question? And the question I have is, <clears throat> is I feel like I'm stuck, stagnant. And I want to make a move, um, and I've been actually meditating on where I'm to go next in my spirituality, Um, but I'm not sure if I'm making this move based on ego or based on what I'm really um, sent here to do, and I don't really have a lot of time to waste, so I just want clarity. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see what we can get you. Okay, so um, your first card to represent you is the card in the element of the earth. So when we're talking about the earth, we're talking about physical things, physical okay. things that you do, physical things that you can touch, just physical. And it's the card of cycles. When you have this card of cycles, there's a cycle that you're going through. Okay. There's a cycle that you keep repeating over and over, and it's time for you to transform that cycle so that you can start seeing physical changes. Um, so with this situation that you're talking about, mm-hmm. if you're going at this situation the same way that you've been going at things in your life, then mm-hmm. you're repeating a cycle. Um, okay. If you try to go at things something diff- in a different way, at a different angle, then you are transforming from your cycle. Anytime that you continuously do the same thing in the same way, that's a cycle. Okay. So... 
that represents you. That represents where you are. So there's there's some type of cycle that you have going on. And um you need to see what it is that you're holding on to and release it. Um, so that you can go ahead and transform that cycle. Um, where you are is the mental card, it's the um visionary. When the calm visionary comes in, we're talking about you having the gift as a visionary. Um, you can you have the gift of insight, which is psychic ability. So you have you can see what's going to happen with yes. whatever it is that you're talking about. You're able it comes to you some kind of way through dreams, through something. But that's where you are, and you're probably getting insights about what your the situation that you're talking about. So. Go ahead and, you know, take heed and, and pay attention to these visions that you are receiving. So these visions are also going to help you break these cycles. So these visions are probably coming to you, and they probably seem strange because they're not something you're used to. And that's, yeah. that's part of breaking a cycle. When you break a cycle, it's something new. It's something you're not used to. What you need to embrace. Another physical card. There's a lot of physical things going on with you. It's a card of works. Um, you need to go ahead and embrace the work that you have to do to break these cycles. So when you put in this work, you're going to go ahead and become aligned with your mind, body, and spirit. So what it's showing me right now is that your your mind, which is the, your um, psychic ability, is in one place, but your body and your actions are not in line with that. So mm -hmm. go ahead and do the work that you need to do to release the old things, let go of those ways, those old cycles, so that you can be in line. Because once you're in line, everything is going to start flowing, and that stagnant energy that you're talking about is no longer going to exist, and you're going to move to what it is that you need to move forward to. Also, what you need to embrace, you have the card of fire, representing your spirituality, and it's the card of centering. When you have this card of centering, that means you need to take time daily to center yourself, have you time. Mm -hmm. In that you time, you're going to get some insights because you are a visionary, and you're going to get guidance on how to get you through this situation. You're not alone with this situation. You have spiritual help with this situation. You just have to connect to that help so they can tell you what to do. So you're ready to put the work in. You need to be ready to put the work in. That's what it's showing you need to embrace. And the ancestors, the spirits, whatever your faith is, they're ready to help you. But you need to center to connect to them. So that's meditating. Um, whatever your creative, however you're creative, however you can Tap into your spiritual self. If it's meditation, if it's dance, if it's prayer, um, if it's just taking a bath, taking a walk, whatever that is, you need to spend time daily, daily. Every day you need to spend like an hour, 30 minutes or something towards centering yourself. No distractions. Let go of all those things that you're normally worried about, children, work, all that stuff, out of your mind. Mm -hmm. Focus is on you. Okay. Your outcome is fruitation, another physical card. You're going to see the, phys the physical fruit of your work and of your labor. You're going to see the physical fruit of you switching out of this stagnant energy and out of these cycles. So there's going to be a physical outcome from this. Um, and when you do get this physical outcome, it may, I don't know what it is, it may be maybe money, it may be a new house, it may be a new friend, it may, it's something physical, maybe a new car, who knows. But once you get that, that fruit of the labor, you need to make sure you celebrate and be thankful for it. But you are going to get a physical outcome and, and you're going to get the physical rewards for doing the work and transitioning out of the old you. 